watching Who's On Deck. I'm your host, Leah Guy, and today on the show we have one of the most celebrated and sought after yoginis in the entire world, Miss Sean Korn. Hi, Sean. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy yeah. you're here. You have no idea. I do yoga with you a lot, and uh, you don't know why or how, do you? <laughs> no. I'll tell you, I've got a VHS tape <laughs> that you're in with Brian yes. Kess. Uh huh from Los Angeles. Do you remember? Don't you love the outfit? So in case you don't know by now, Sean is a famous yoga instructor. How did you get started in yoga? You've been doing it, like you said, most of your life, I guess, by now, right? Well, not most of my life, but I was introduced to it when I was around 19 years old. But it wasn't until I moved to LA where it really got underneath my skin. Did you have your eyes set on doing something else with your life? I think I wanted to get a jersey. I know that. I was getting nervous about my fate. I didn't want to end up getting married and having a bunch of kids early on. I mean, I started with, uh, I really loved hallucinogenics, and then it moved to Coke, which I didn't love very much. But heroin was, heroin was the next step. And I'm so glad that I discovered yoga and that I got into therapy and that I just surrounded myself with a different uh, group of people. Mm. But, you know, it's like I have a... I, I wouldn't trade any. You've really. got a, a non. It was a nonprofit, I guess. Yeah. The off the mat, mm -hmm. off the mat, and into the world. Off Am the I mat, saying? into the world. Yes. We raised uh, each year. We raised about five hundred thousand dollars in Uganda. Wow. We built an eco birthing center, um, a seven room schoolhouse, uh, amongst other projects. We focus on grassroots organizations, find out what their needs are, mm -hmm. and then we take all that money and we we build or create or do things and we also provide funding for the different organizations that are supporting the youth here in the US. For me, so, yoga is very inclusive. Mm -hmm. It embraces everyone, doesn't matter your gender, your sexual orientation, your color or your religious practice. Mm -hmm. If you want to create a, a practice, a tool to release stress and tension so that you can feel more integrated with yourself, with each other and the world in which you live and share, then yoga is a practice that allows you that level of continuity and connection. Amazing. What I'm going to walk you through is a modified sun salute. And why this is good is because it, it, it stimulates your circulation and your respiration. It gets the lymphatic fluid moving through your system. And this is really important because the lympha is responsible for drawing the toxins mm -hmm. through your body. It helps you release it through your breath and sweat. And the only way to get lympha to move is through vigorous exercise and deep breathing. Place your palms into namaste. She says, mm-hmm. <laughs> First thing you're gonna do is take a really deep breath in. Exhale it out. Good, now inhale, bring both arms up over your head. This stretches the shoulders. And then exhale, fold. If your hamstrings are, are tight, just simply yes. bend your knees, but get your hands to the floor. All Good. the way to the floor? And just hold here for a moment. You're gonna feel this is a great stretch in the back of the legs as well as the spine. Now keep your knees bent, mm -hmm. but inhale, look up and lengthen your spine, hold. Both shoulders pull down the back, so you really feel the stretch along your back muscles. Mm -hmm. Take another deep breath, bend your knees again a little bit, step your right leg back, and now you're gonna push into both hands and you're gonna step your left leg to meet the right. So you're in a push-up position. Obviously this is going to develop strength, you keep the lower belly in, this develops your core strength, and if you can, your tailbone pulls towards your heels. Good, now take a deep breath in, because she's not gonna be able to hold this, <laughs> and put your knees on the floor, okay. point your toes away, take another deep breath, all you're gonna do is bend your elbows and lower your whole body to the floor. Don't stick your butt up, just lay flat. Now slide your hands back about an inch, and inhale, lift your chest part way up, hold. This is a nice back bend but it opens the upper part of your back, not the lumbar. This part of your back can get very compromised, so you always want to protect it. Take another deep breath, then chest down, curl your toes under, and you're gonna press back into downward facing dog. Good, but I'm gonna recommend though, stay on the balls of the feet okay. and bend your knees a little. This releases the hamstrings and lets you get this great stretch in the shoulders and your back. It's also an inversion, so anything that's really at the base of your spine and your intestinal tract, pushes forward towards the heart for the process of circulation. So it's very cleansing. Take a deep breath. And from here, you're gonna walk your feet to your hands. Then inhale, hands stay on the floor. You look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold, stretching the hamstrings. Then inhale, Ooh. come on up to stand. Arms reach and palms right at the heart. Okay, so let's live open. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sean. You're very welcome.